Om Shanti, welcome back. We're doing the recording of 3rd of September, God Blessing, and God wants us to love everybody. Now, this is a major concept in Christianity and some other religions too. But how can we love everybody even though everybody is looking different, is talking a different language, is eating something different, and has a different name which sounds very different, and is from some other country with a different dialect and a different behavior to certain things in life. How can we all love each other? Now that simply comes with the answer of spirituality, where God, our Supreme Creator, wants us to be so conscious about the soul, the spirit, the quantum energy, the field energy, the source energy within us. Even science is trying to come closer to that. That we forget this physical face, we forget the religion, we forget the caste, we forget the greed, we forget ethnicity, we forget the language, we forget whether we are rich or poor, male, female and coming down to atomic level. We forget everything, we forget the atom, we become soul conscious or atma conscious and that's where the new journey begins. When we move from atom conscious to atma conscious, that's where the transition happens. That's where we start looking not at the atom with which your body and my body is made or construct of, but we start looking at the soul within the atma, within the energy, within the quantum field, within the source energy within, which is even driving your body and my body right now. And I am the soul who's speaking to you with the help of this organ known as the mouth. So God wants us to reach that level. Let's have a look over here at the blessing. In this blessing, God says, may you be loving to all and have soul consciousness and soul conscious feelings for everyone and finish all other types of feelings, which we have spoken about right now. Let's get into the details. So God says, when you're body conscious or let's say atom conscious, many types of feelings can arise, right? Sometimes you will find someone good and sometimes you will find someone not so good. You might see certain traits of some person or we call it as some scars in the spiritual language. You might find that person having, let's say, jealousy towards somebody. You might have that person having anger or comparison or demeaning thoughts towards somebody else. And you might not like that person anymore, which you were liking that person a couple of days or months before. God then says, by seeing others in their soul form, by seeing others in their soul form, that they are originally pure. They have learned this trait of demeaning and differentiating on the basis of body consciousness, but they are actually originally pure souls. When you look at their purity, you look at their originality, which is like saying that you're looking through God's eyes, looking at them, then you will have that change, remarkable change in your vision and that will make you feel lighter and close to God. So God then says, by seeing others in their soul form, you will have spiritual love for them, irrespective of atom love. By having soul conscious feelings, soul conscious vision and a soul conscious attitude, you will be extremely detached and loving as you form relationships with everybody. Detached in the sense that when you are making relationships in the present Kali Yuga or the present age, we generally make relationships when we want something in return. But here, detached means that you are able to love everybody without having the attachment of receiving something in return. That is true detachment. So while walking and moving around, practice, I am a soul. And by doing this, all the many types of feelings, religious differentiation, color, ethnicity, language, food habits, cultural, and any kind of other differentiation will finish when you are soul conscious. All the many types of feelings and nature will finish and you will automatically be loved by all. That means when you don't have a differentiating body conscious feeling towards somebody, they will feel that, yes, they can feel love through you, they can feel contentment through you, they can feel same vision coming from you towards them as well as towards others, irrespective of what they look, think or are from. How about living like this?
It's a beautiful way of living which we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Soul Consciousness. Welcome to Soul Consciousness. With this, I'm Shanti.